This video is showing you two different ways on using Adobe Acrobat Pro DC in order to combine and merge PDFs. Um, this, these instructions would also work for the standard version of Adobe Acrobat. However, they will not work if all you have is the Acrobat Reader. If you have Acrobat Reader, then you're going to want to view the video using PDF Redirect, which is a free application. Um, but uh, if you want to use Adobe Acrobat, you're going to have to get a very expensive subscription to it. Um, now, one way is to go to the file menu inside the Acrobat application, go to create. Uh, and the normal way of doing this is combine multiple files into a PDF. Uh, probably the easiest way is to just drag and drop. Uh, select, select the files you want, drag them there. You have several options that you can choose. Um, you can change the file size uh, and several various things, adding bookmarks, etc., etc. In this case here, the order is that we want. If it wasn't, you could simply move it up or down. Now, in this case here, as we're clicking combine, um, if you are using the PDF form fill-in and you're using multiple copies of the same file, it's going to throw this error at you. Any form fields that have the same name and merge documents are now merged into one field. Okay, so if we, and it's going to throw this error six times because we have six co copies of the document. So if you look at it, you're going to see so far so good, but then all the other pages are uh, just showing that from number one. So that's not going to work. So what we need to do instead is make a PDF portfolio. So we create PDF portfolio and uh, much as we did for the previous one, we can just drag and drop the files there and then create it. Um, now there's one other way to do it. Uh, and that is if you have the, uh, if you have it installed, it should have added a right click context menu option. So highlight, select the files that you want to combine, right click on it and click combine files in Acrobat. Now this is going to come up with that same interface that we saw earlier, except one of the things you can do is when you click on options, you can click save as PDF portfolio. Okay, and convert all files to PDF when creating a portfolio. That's going to change it to a PDF. Um, however, uh, it also has the option of retaining an original file. So if you had a Word document or an AutoCAD drawing, something like that, um, you could actually leave it in there. But in this case, we wanted PDF for universal viewability. Click OK on there and click Combine. It's going to take just a moment here. And then when it's done, it's going to leave us with this PDF portfolio, uh, which is a little bit different than a standard PDF in that this is kind of, this is more like a, a zipped folder. So it has all the individual files inside of it, um, but it's, it's, as, it's as one file. So, uh, but you can see all of them right there. So either, either of those ways will work. At this point, then you can save it. And uh, there you go. And that will, that will be what you need to do. At that point then, you just need to upload it to D2L. And if you have any questions, ask your instructor.